up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with my Sephora haul. And I've finally gotten all my orders in because y'all already know how it goes. I place one initial order and then things start dropping and then I start ordering and then next thing you know I have five, six boxes showing up in my house. So finally all of my boxes have showed up and kudos to Sephora for the fast shipping. I barely had to wait a day this go round so I'm really excited about that. So I have everything cutely stacked over here but before I show you everything that I picked up I want to give a shout out to Top Cashback for collaborating with me on today's video thank you so much for our continued partnership you guys know I love and trust Top Cashback I use them every single time when I shop online because it gives me a percentage back of whatever I was going to purchase anyways so on Top Cashback's website they have thousands of retailers and Sephora is one of them so all you have to do to start saving money which I need you to do it like yesterday is go to Top Cashback's website you sign up with your email address you make a passcode and from there you're in all you have to do is select which retailer you're shopping on y'all know I shop at Sephora all the time but you can select one of the thousands that are on there but today I'm selecting Sephora you click on Sephora and it redirects you to Sephora's website and you shop like you normally Normally do but the difference is is that you're getting a percentage back of what you are about to spend and it's free 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 money you're gonna buy it anyways top cash back offers 100% commission back to its members that's us and the other good thing is that there's no minimum payout and top cash back regularly has a higher percentage back than their competitors so it is no risk to you to sign up and save money if you're a person who shops online which is everybody in 2022 at this point my grandparents even shop online and I've gotten them to sign up with top cash back <laughs> Seriously. So signing up with the new account, you do get a $10 sign up bonus. I will have a link in my description box for you guys to sign up on Top Cashback's website. And for those of you all who have signed up on Top Cashback's website through my link, thank you all so much. Like I said, I've collaborated with them so many times on my channel. I know a lot of you guys have signed up. Don't forget to actually use them. And they even have an extension that you can download to remind you to click to save a percentage back of whatever you're about to spend. So it's an amazing thing. I love them. Let me know if you all have signed up for Top Cash Back down in my comment section. Because we're going to need all that cash back. Especially when I show you all what I purchased. I spent a cute little coin. So with that being said, thank you so much Top Cash Back. Let's go ahead and jump into the haul. And I'm going to show you guys what I got. I fit everything in this bag. I'm so proud I fit everything in this bag. I've been watching Get Organized with the Home Edit and I feel like I'm an organization queen. So I don't have a particular order that I'm going to show you guys everything in. I'm just going to pull it out of the bag and go from there. And I got my hair. Hmm. Got a little extensions going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm don't have anything to do with what's in that bag but I just had to mention it all right let's go into the bag first things first I pulled out this fragrance which is good girl gone bad oh fresh by Killian and I didn't know this existed apparently this came out in 2020 never saw it I'm somewhat of a fan of good girl gone bad by Killian but not so much so that I felt like I personally needed to have it in my collection because I'm a huge Killian fan. Like a lot of fragrance houses, they have a signature DNA to their scents. So I felt like Good Girl Gone Bad, the original one, smells like another Killian fragrance that I already had. But when I saw that they had a fresher version of Fresh, I had to have it because I love fresh scents. This one smells so good. Killian is just one of my favorites. They kill it. I think it smells fresh, but it has a little bit of a mysterious element there. Hence the name, Good Girl Gone Bad. It can't be all good. Sometimes it's good being bad. And I think this one is just good for summer nights. It smells fresh, but not too heavy. I'm glad I picked it up because I think this went out of stock fairly quickly during the spring savings event so if you are interested in this one I will link where it is still available down below and if it comes back available on Sephora's app or website I will link that I bought more fragrances don't worry it's just probably in the bottom of the bag so next I pulled out one of these Huda Beauty cheeky tints 
blush sticks and I bought I think four out of the five of them this one is rebel red so I think I'm gonna do just a full out video on these if you guys are interested rebel red this isn't a traditional blush color that I would be attracted to, but I'm not going to lie. It was sold out online, and so that piqued my curiosity. And then when I went in store, it was only one. So I just bought it. That's what I did. That's what I did. <laughs> I like this one, but I don't know how I'm going to like it on the cheeks. So I'm going to try it on in the video if you guys want to see it. Let me know. I bought the new Olaplex Nourishing Hair Serum. Did you guys see my Olaplex Reels on Instagram? Because I felt like a real influencer making Reels. Because y'all, making Reels like takes me at least twice as long as it takes to make a traditional video. <laughs> like I'm not even going to hold you. Because it's like you have to be a little bit more creative and then I'll drop my phone. And then you got to come in at the right time. It's like girl, that's a little job. But anyways, I did a full hair routine using Olaplex products and I used this one as one of the last steps before I blow dried my hair. And this is a weightless, antioxidant rich, multi-benefit serum that provides pollution protection to perfect and protect all hair types and textures. So it helps with frizz control, anti-static, detangling, and bounce back memory. Okay. So I really like this serum. It feels very weightless. It doesn't have an oily feel to it. It actually feels like water so more hydrating than anything the first ingredient is water and i can tell it doesn't say that it has any essential oils or anything like that in there and what i liked about it is that it didn't feel heavy but it still made my hair feel nourished so it was something that was really interesting it's an antioxidant rich serum so if you haven't seen my reels go check it out my hair was bouncing and had body yaddy yaddy and all that good stuff like that and i like that serum it's a nice step to add in to my Olaplex routine because I'm a big fan of Olaplex products. Ooh, I've been getting some messages about this one. The Patrick Ta. Ooh, the font on here. The scrap on here is a little bit, it's a little small. Okay, the Major Dimension eyeshadow palette, but it is the two. Y'all know why I bought this? I bought it for you guys, my Kellbells, because y'all know that I am just... What's the word when you are completely done with a certain color story? Y'all let me know. Let me know. But I got enough people writing me about this that I just broke down and I did it for y'all. Some of my ride or die kettlebells really wanted to know, so I got you. Video coming soon. Fragrance, who am I? I bought a full-sized Tom Ford fragrance all on my own. This one is Lost Cherry Oh, de Parfum. And I honestly, had never taken the time to truly spray and smell Tom Ford fragrances on my body. And I was afforded the opportunity to solo play with Tom Ford fragrances a few weeks ago in Sephora and I just never had that chance before. I'm a girl who likes to know that a sales associate is there if I need you, but I'm a hands-off type person. So I like to shop on my own. I don't like to be sold to unless I'm really in the mood for that. And so I was able to explore in that when I found out what I liked. Versus traditionally when you go shop for fragrances, people are there, they're trying to tell you what to smell, they're handing you stuff, they're going fast and I can't think because you're trying to talk to me and I'm trying to smell stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's a different experience when you're able to experience stuff on your own and that's why I like discovery kits so much off topic because I can smell at home and I can think about what I think. If I'm there and you're talking to me, I can't think about what I think. But anyways, I was afforded the opportunity to smell Tom Ford fragrances and I smelled this one and I sprayed it on myself and I was like, ooh, that's nice, Lost Cherry. And I brought it home with me. Now, this is a nostalgic scent for me. It smells the way Jergens Lotion used to smell. Jergens Lotion used to have this sweet almond cherry type scent. It smelled exactly like this in the 90s. I know because my mom used to buy the ginormous tubs of it and that's all we used to moisturize our bodies for like, I don't know, the first 15 years of my life. And this just brought me back to that. I love the way it smells. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's fun for the summertime. I enjoy fruity scents, but I need it to be a little bit more interesting. And y'all know Tom Ford brings the sexy. So this one is nice. If you're a person who likes sweeter scents, but you're like me, you prefer to smell fresher, 
I like this one and the way that it fuses with my body chemistry is really pleasant. I bought this YSL Lippy. This one is the Rouge Velote Candy Glaze Double Care Balm. I got the shade 11 Red Thrill because it looks like candy. I am into that right now. I cannot wait to put this on my lips. I'm going to wait. Y'all know I like to get photos and get stuff cute. I archive everything, but I do. I have photos of almost all of my makeup brands new. If I can't keep it pristine in real life, I at least want to have some documentation that it was cute at one point. So that's why I like to look at stuff for a little bit before I touch it. But I can't wait to use this because based on those pictures, it just looks like candy dripping wet. And then on the lips, it's just going to look juicy. Oh, cannot wait. And then I grabbed another lippy. This one is the Givenchy Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm. I grabbed the shade 110 Milky Nude. It just intrigues me the way that it looks. It looks like a milkshake. It looks like a lip balm with a little bit of color. And y'all, it's so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. It looks like a nice little drink or something like that. I grabbed some lip liners from Makeup by Mario. I grabbed Toasty and Milk Chocolate. Oh, it comes with a little sharpener. Nice touch, Mario. Milk Chocolate. Oh, it has a little brush on this side. Mario likes to surprise you with the brush, huh? Oh, it's a wooden pencil. My favorite. Ooh. Wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Milk chocolate. Okay, nice and chocolatey. Toasty. Y'all, I love a traditional pencil lip liner. So underrated. The gel lip liners are cool and everything, but they go bad faster. And this one is, ooh, Toasty. This is exactly what I needed. A pinky neutral brown that's not too brown and not going to overpower the lip. So for days when I just want to do a very simple neutral lip and have a lip liner but not have it to overpower and be too dark, that's going to be perfect. I grabbed Mocha Latte by Makeup by Mario 2. This one is an ultra suede cozy lip cream and I was playing around with these in the store. Look at that. It goes on like suede. So it's a liquid lipstick but it doesn't dry down. It just has a moussey like texture. That's nice. Y'all, I am going to do a lipstick try-on video with all of my new lippies. I didn't realize how many new lippies I got until I was just doing that. So, I got y'all. Two new goodies from Gucci. So, Gucci came out with an eyeliner. This one is a liquid eyeliner. It's a felt tip eyeliner, long-lasting in the shade E Black. Y'all know I had to snatch it up. Gucci is one of my favorite brands. And, uh... Boom, black liner. Cannot wait to try that bad boy. Okay, that's for sure. And then they have a full new range of liquid lipsticks. I grabbed one. Can y'all believe I had some restraint? I wanted to grab like five, six of them, but I was like, let me just get one. And so I got this one. This one is Lizzie Tiger 311. I played around with it yesterday. Like I said, I do want to do a lip video, but this is what it looks like. So it goes on a little bit more sheer like and it does dry down like a traditional matte lipstick does. So I'll go more in detail about this when I do my lip video. But so far, I'm going to just say wait on my video. Catch my hand. All right. So I'll keep you posted though. Oh, here we go with the three other Huda blushes. So I grabbed Perky Peach, Coral Cutie, and Proud Pink. I actually did a little swatch session in the store. I'll insert that. Hopefully that's helpful if you're looking at these products. This is the Velour Lash Adhesive. It dries clear, but I wanted to try another one. This one is Lily Lashes Brush On Lash Adhesive, which I used to use Lily Lashes like they were going out of style. So I wanted to try the Lash Glue because it never dawned on me that I never tried Lily Lashes Lash Glue. So I picked it up. So I'll see what I think. I will say it is way smaller than my Velour Lash Glue. Yeah, it's like half the size. My Velour Lash Glue is 10 milliliters and this one is five. Y'all, this is my Velour Lash Glue. This one is my older one. I haven't opened up the new one yet because I'm not ready to. I just got a backup for when I'm ready for a new one. This one is actually $12 and the Lily Lash one is half is 13. Wait a minute, I feel like I got played. <laughs> I didn't even look at that until right now. Fenty Beauty came out with a palette. This one is the Sunstalker Face and Eye Bronzer Highlighter Palette. I know y'all want to see a video on this, so I definitely got y'all. The actual palette just looks luxe. 
I cannot wait to dive into this. You can use it on your face and your eyes. So I like a little two for one situation, which any palette pretty much, as long as the colors are complimentary, like you could do what you want to do. So I cannot wait to play with that. It looks so gorgeous. I can't wait to get the richness on my face with the deeper bronzers. Oh, I'm going to be so sculpted. <laughs> I'll be playing with that soon. I bought more powders from Kosas just because this is my new favorite powder basically of all time for the most part. This is their cloud set powder and I bought another pillowy just because I already know I'm going to run through pillowy so I wanted to have a backup. And then I grabbed the shade cushioning because I wanted one to highlight a little bit so um yeah. More complexion products. So I bought another shade of the one size turn up the base BBB cream beauty blurt balm. I got the shade medium dark two golden because the other shade that I had was just a little bit too light. This one is a better match for me. I'll be doing a video using it soon. And then I bought the new Givenchy foundation. This one is the Prisme Libre skin caring matte foundation. And I have the Glow Foundation, which I recently re-got from Beautylish during their gift card event. Thank you, Beautylish, again. So they sent that to me, and I wanted to get the matte one. So I'll be testing this out, and I'll be comparing it to the Glow Foundation. So stay tuned for that. And then I got the new foundation from Rare Beauty. This one is the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I got the shade 42N, which I think is a pretty close match. So I'll be testing all of these out. I got this set from Tweezerman. It is a brow shaping scissors plus brush set I didn't necessarily need the brush just because I have spoolies on deck but it's nice to have but I wanted to have these scissors to be able to cut because I'm a person who trims their brows a lot versus anything else because my brows tend to grow like out very bushy so I like to trim them to keep them in check and these scissors are precise and small and sharp so I wanted to have something dedicated that I would keep right in my brow drawer because I have some scissors but then I'll take them in my bathroom or I'll take you know I just needed something dedicated to brows and I know in my head if it says tweezerman I'm only going to use them for my brows. I know that's ridiculous, but I'm that type of person. I'm like, these are for my brows only. Those can go everywhere else, but these are for my brows. The person who influenced this purchase is Grace of the Everyday Edit. So if you all have never seen her channel, I will leave her channel linked below. But I need Shiseido to just go ahead and cut her her check because she uses this brush so much and she 100% influenced me to buy this brush. This one is their Polishing Face Brush. Let me take it out and show it to you all. I love Shiseido as a brand. I want to try more of their products just because everything that I've tried from them has been so beautifully formulated. It's a Japanese brand. I love Japanese brands because they get perfection and they're always going to give you something cool. So look at this. It looks like a rose petal. Very soft and you can use it to polish the face. You can use it to buff on your foundation and I love a buffer brush. So I was really excited to try this out. Again, shout out to my girl Grace because she is the person who put me onto this brush. I don't even know if I saw it before she was talking about it, but she hypes this thing up. So I cannot wait to test it out. Milk. I wanted this bronzer and I didn't know which shade I needed. So I was shopping with my mom in Sephora a few weeks ago and I tested it out and she said I needed to get the shade Time Travel because it looks really beautiful and natural on me. So I listened to my mama and I got it. I can't wait to try it out. This is Milk's Bionic Bronzer. It is a liquid bronzer. So I think that's a really cool concept. It just blends right into the face. I don't have that much experience with it. I've only tried it once. So I can't wait to test it out more with fresh makeup, just straight up bronzed to see what it does. So um, I'll keep y'all posted on that one. But I got the lightest shade and I originally was going to get the middle shade. So we'll see how it goes. And one more cheek product. I grabbed one of the one size cheek clappers. <laughs> it's a 3D blush trio and it is so pretty. Okay, I have not swatched or anything like that, but it's pretty. I got the shade Very That. Y'all, that's gorgeous. I cannot wait to put this on my cheeks, and that's for sure. It doesn't smell like anything. I thought it did. That might be one of the perfumes I have here. It's huge, too. It's a big old blush thing. Like, it's bigger than the palm of my hand. It has a cream blush here, a powder blush, and a highlighter. Cheek clapper. Can't wait to make those cheeks clap. Hey, hey, hey. Skincare. I grabbed this Tatcha the Clarifying Clay Mask. 
I've told you all so many times how much I love Tatcha. So this one is a new product for Tatcha. So this is a clarifying and balancing mask. It opens up your pores and it absorbs excess oil and sebum without stripping or leaving skin feeling tight or dry. So this might be for the oily peeps out there. But you know, if you're not oily and you're feeling like your skin just needs to be clarified, I don't know, maybe it might be for you too. I haven't tried it. I'm excited to try it. I already know it's gonna be bomb. It's Sasha. it can't fail. So I'm happy to have it and I'm gonna be masking as soon as I log off of here. I purchased the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen and I love it. I have used this I don't know how many times. And this one gives you the prettiest glow. It leaves your skin feeling so healthy. It motivates you to put on sunscreen just because you want that effect that it gives to the skin. It says this lightweight glow giving daily SPF 50 helps to hydrate and protect skin with niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, aloe, and a blend of gentle reef safe mineral and chemical sunscreen actives it's nice it looks good on the skin it doesn't have you looking ashy at all i promise you it's just a beautiful glow i'm gonna put it a little bit on the back of my hands you only need a small amount you know make sure you are fully covering the face so everything is protected but can y'all see i just did like a little dot how this little area right here is glowing and everywhere else is not Glow on, honey, glow on. I like that. And last but not least, I purchased some fragrance from Chris Collins. And the world of Chris Collins is the name of the brand. It is by a black perfumer. Where do they do that at? I just knew I had to grab something. I didn't care what. I just knew that I had to support. So I grabbed the Discovery Set. Chris Collins Eau de Parfum. It comes with five different scents and these are all the scents that are available on Sephora's website. Chris Collins does have his own website and there are more scents there and I'm sure there are other scents scattered across the interwebs somewhere but on Sephora they sell five of the scents and the Discovery Set has five little travel sprays so you can test it out to see which scent you like. But y'all know I just want to have a big scent. Like I just couldn't wait so I just guessed. So I bought this one. <laughs> This one is Lost in Paradise and I just love the packaging. So you just slide off the sleeve here. It's white, my favorite. I see and the writing is rose gold. It says Chris Collins with his logo here. And here's the fragrance. It has a nice weight to it. Lost in Paradise. It smells very beachy. I didn't say beachy. I said beachy. All right. It smells very beachy, very coconutty. It's deep though. So it's not your typical everyday beachy scent. It smells like the beach at nighttime. And I'm gonna talk more on this in my spring summer fragrance video that I'm gonna be doing very soon. But uh, really quickly too, I wanted to add that he said that the flask shaped bottle was inspired by the flasks used in the speakeasies during the 1920s prohibition. I think that's really cool. That's it, I'm like that's it. Like I didn't just haul over a thousand dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> But that's it. I want to know what you guys purchased down in the comment section. If you all have YouTube videos, let me know. I would love to watch what you guys purchased because this is one of my favorite times of the year. I say it every year, but I'm serious. I love watching recommendation videos, haul videos, try on videos. Like I just love it. It's so fun because everybody just loves makeup during this event. Thank y'all so much for watching until the end of the video. And thank you again to Top Cashback for collaborating with me. It's always my pleasure. I will have a link down in my description box for you guys to sign up for Top Cashback. You gotta do it. You gotta start saving those coins. And once you do it, you do not have to come thank me. I promise you don't. But I know you're gonna be like, why didn't I do this sooner? Because I was mad that I hadn't heard of it sooner. So just a little tip. But I will check you all in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. Happy shopping. Links to everything down below. Smooches. Bye.